On Labor Day weekend, there's still work to be done for the Washington Spirit. Their playoff spot is secure, yes, but home field advantage is still within reach for Mark Parsons' club in their regular season finale. The last 90 minutes here in D.C., the regular season underway. Krieger to the feet of Dunn, back for Nairn, in Nairn territory, she'll try the shot, and it gets by Solo and inches wide of the near post. Christine Nairn, where she likes to be, yep. doing what she likes to do. And you know what? I don't mind Christine Nairn taking that sort of shot from, from about 25 yards out on Hope Solo. Certainly challenge her early, three minutes in. Make her be really good, which she is. We know she's able to make those types of saves. Chip up the line, looking for the run of Little. Worcester has the better position. And gives it away in the box. Chance now for Seattle. Cut back. Shot is blocked by Estelle Johnson. Second chance for Little blocked again by Oyster. Third chance for Fishlock. And she hits high and wide. Left again. It comes for Rapino. Making runs inside are Reed and Matthias. Marked by Whitney Church. Rapino will go towards the end line. Play a good cross in. Headed out as Fletcher was the target. Second chance for Fishlock. Five for Fishlock. And what an absolute <laughs> beauty from Jess Fishlock. Her eighth goal of the year, and that might have been the best. Yeah, yeah, I, I absolutely agree. What a great finish. A great first-time touch off of her thigh to just drop it straight to her foot. You know, near post on, on Ashton Harris. Obviously, for Ashton Harris, not a type of goal she'd want to give up, but I don't really think there was much she could have done. What a, what a great finish by Fishlock. Unfortunately for the Spirit, that's definitely the place you don't want to clear it. But Reynolds was in the right place to, to you know, get that clearance. There was just nobody from the midfield for the Spirit to get a touch. Here it is again. Bring it down on the thigh. Yeah. Let it fly. Right. Not. Yeah. I like it. There's really nothing Ashton Harris could have done. Little available short. Deflected there. Picked up in the box by Mer Merritt Mathias. Broken out by Krieger. Second chance for Rapino and Harris nearly made a great save. And Megan Rapino's shot was just that much better. Two nothing. 25th minute. Yeah. As soon as it, it touched Rapino's foot, I was like, okay, here we go. Um, you know, we've certainly seen her score from that range in the past. It looked as if, I believe Ashton Harris did get something on it, um, but I think it just had way too much pace for her. Rapino's fifth goal of the year, 16th of her NWSL career in Seattle, cruising up 2 nothing against a team that hasn't lost at home this year. Yeah, so, I, I mean, what a great performance so far by the rain. And again, just a little slow to close. Mm -hmm. Ashton Harris nearly half Yeah, and, and this is something that Mark Parsons can talk about at halftime. The pressure at the top of the 18 has got to be better. The, you know, both Fishlock and Rapino just had too much time on the ball to set themselves up for a good shot. Dunn turning on a dime for Salem. Now dumped into space for Matheson. Marked by Barnes. She'll cut inside. Matheson still fighting in the 18. Takes a tumble, and the referee points <laughs> to the spot. Two world-class players head-to-head -head here. Whistle blows. Matheson's penalty is chipped into the top quarter. Sits solo the other way. Game on now, 2-1. I mean, obviously it, it was a, a fantastic shot, you know, a fantastic PK by Matheson. But every single shot this game, every single goal this game has essentially been close to being upper 90. I mean, three fantastic strikes here in the first half. Matheson's third of the year, 19th for the Spirit, 6th against Seattle alone. Seconds remaining here in the first half as Ashton Harris will take her time on this goal kick. Second half underway, Seattle will kick off, going towards the scoreboard end, trying to preserve this 2-1 lead. And we'll say it again, the Spirit have to win to be in that 2-3 game in the playoffs. If they lose or if they tie, then we'll have a rematch at Memorial Stadium on Sunday between Seattle and Washington. You know, you really have to go for that equalizer at this point in the game. Bye. Shot, great save great. from Ashlyn Harris. Yeah. Katrine Vi's first touch of the game was a beauty, but Ashlyn Harris's yeah. was even better. I, I was just about to say, what a great first touch by Vi, but what an even better save by Ashlyn Harris. Sliced it to the top corner, and Ashlyn Harris at full extension tipped mm -hmm. it over. Yeah. Great ball in. And, yeah, and Ashlyn Harris did a great job at keeping her feet moving. She got that top hand across, just tipped it right over the crossbar. Hit long by Church. Tracking it as Crystal Dunn. Marked this time by Barnes. Dunn turning one a dime saying, no, no, no. You're not going to get it from me right now. The turn pass from Nairn. Cross from Dunn. Dummy through by Matheson. The shot is just wide for Mordega. <laughs> I, I just got 
caught caught totally being a fangirl and saying, ooh, but I mean, that was just a, a fantastic effort by Crystal Dunn to play that about. Ordega was just off by a couple of inches. It would have been a great goal for Ordega. She could have put that in your post. So that chance again. Good patience from Nairn and Crystal Dunn. Dunn had space to get across off, played a really good one. And a smart play from Allison to dummy it. I think Sowell might have made that save. Oh, yeah. She was in a good yeah. position. Yeah, had she that certainly frame. had it covered. You no, know, the, the good save from Ashlyn Harris on the far post. Ball inside. Matheson brings it down. Plays it right for Christine Nair. Lots of space for Nair. Whistle here in the spirit will take a free kick as Matheson was taken down. And Mark Parsons. Hands on his face, he won an advantage there, and I don't blame him. Yeah, no, you, you certainly do not want that to be a foul for for you because Christine Nairn had nobody on her. She was running across the end line. It would have been a great service across. Towards the far post. Headed down and wide. Christine Nairn's service, left-footed. Towards the far post. Towards the oysters, rises for it, and heads it just over. Switch. Brought down in the box. Left-footed shot right at Ashlyn Harris. Kirsten Dahlstream had a chance to put the game away. Some of that, though, is teams really pressing when they're down, like the sure. Spirit are right now. Right. Header right at the line from Winters, and Reed nearly got a piece of it. I'm sure, not sure Ashlyn Harris <laughs> found that one right in her hands. Yeah, I, I think that was almost like a blind save, but she did a good job at kind of swatting it down to, to, to the ground and, and made the second, and she was able to get right on top of the second ball. And that will be the final touch. So, the Washington Spirits unbeaten run at home comes on in on the final day of the regular season. But more importantly, they will travel to Seattle next Sunday for the semifinal game. Right, and, and you know what? They, they definitely battled, especially put that one ball in the back of the net to, to go two to one in the first half. But, you know, some of the opportunities that, that they had in the second half, they just had to be a little bit better on the ball to try to finish it, especially past a great solo performance this evening. So before we recap this one, the playoff field is now set. Next Sunday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time, it'll be FC Kansas City, the third seed, at Chicago, the second seed. And then in the nightcap at Memorial Stadium at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time for the second straight year. It's the Washington Spirit as the four seed against the Seattle Rain as the one seed. Sure. And like I said earlier in their broadcast, they, uh, you know, the, the Spirit had a great game when they went out and played at Memorial Stadium last season. So, you know, obviously not what they were hoping for, but, you know, they can put on a good performance and maybe get a result next week because right now that's all that matters. Megan Oyster and Josephine Chukwanonye will show the banners to the crowd saying, thank you, Spirit family. What a great home season for this club as they finish their campaign at the Plex with, a, with six wins, just the one loss tonight, and three ties. Yeah, and and again, you know, looking at the progress that this club has made yep. from year one to year three, especially here at home, um, you know, it's just been Mark Parsons has d really done his homework and has been able to put together a great side, and especially making it for the second year in a row uh, to the playoffs. Unfortunately, having to go play Seattle in Seattle, but... Um, you know, that this is what you hope for at game one, being in this position where you're competing for, for the championship.